How's it going guys? This is Razor Wrath bringing you some more Kingdom Hearts 3. Continue on after the toy box. You had to remind me? Hmm? Well, gosh, we just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. I'll bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. Yeah. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your Majesty! <laughs> Your Majesty! Hey, uh, hey what? Wrong number? No. Mariko and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys. But it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. In order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? Yeah, to put his heart in. Uh oh, dilemma. Hmm. Huh? Replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas, realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Hey, thanks. No chewing on my mic cord, you little stinker. Do you guys think they're after replicas oh, but. too? Oh, but. Nope, they definitely said You have a cat box. scratcher now. Who's that? Stop chewing on cords. The organization and Maleficent. Thank you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. Huh? It's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? <laughs> My cat's like two years old now. And so she's let the rest of us worry about Roxas butt. and Namine for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. No, 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 stop that! <laughs> <laughs> and they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality. Well. We gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right. Hey. Complete gummy missions to obtain valuable items. Re reviewing your missions, press options to pause the game and select information. Collect your rewards. Mission you receive rewards for it the next time you open the gummy missions. 
Technically, as the game progresses, check back after the new areas. Sora, I think you're ready for a teeny ship. Now that you've reached Gummy Level 12, you can take a teeny ship along on voyages. Mark then teeny ship A to set your new teeny ship. Has the total battle site. Obtain a number of special weapons that possess variety capabilities. Make a gummy ship with one, with just one special weapon before you embark. Triangle to use your special weapon. That's a teeny ship. Facing an overfire pad to both sides of the ship. Did I just add that with me? Oh. Oh, we got a... Oh, we can't color it? going on here with these. Well, this probably isn't the place to... Yes, I'll take that set up. Anything to get me moving along. So we got a teeny ship now. Bye. 
and blow things. It's a real special weapon too that I totally forgot about. does recharge. Nothing more until we get over here. Kingdom of Corona, let's land. True scholar finds clues to the future and the mistakes of his past. Is that Enzo? I think so. So we're doing the research. For us with pence. Hainer, whichever that you. Oh, 
Continue game. Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Hmm. Rapunzel. Oh. Interesting. Those lights appear every year on my birthday. Only on my birthday. And I can't help but feel like they're... They're meant for me. I need to see them. And not just from my window. In person. I have to know what they are. Corona. Rapunzel story. How neat. Cool, cool. Hmm. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we come here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear this does no hard wash. Oh. Oh. Slim. Flint. Make way! Make way! Make way! Heartless! Yeah, that would be heartless. You see, soon as you mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I, I didn't do it. I didn't it's okay. Do it. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. Yeah, what was your name? Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Name's Flynn. Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out. They look mad. Slowly. Slowly. Out of here. <laughs> uh-huh. Thanks, buddy. Come on! Faster blaze! Sounds good to me. Take all of this. I have much rage built up in the freaking toy place. All y'all just gonna take it. Yes! 
Where'd Flynn go? He's scattered. He's scattered. I think I saw him go that way. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. Flynn, where uh, are you? Flynn? Flinny boy. Yeah. Huh. Any more hidden chests of any kind? We only saw ingredients outside of Andy's house in Toyland. Just the heartless fight, okay. The forest, one of two. Hope we find some ingredients around here. Yeah, we got some bay leaf. Hmm. Looks like it goes that way. Oh man, I always pick the freaking progression. I'm gonna go in the cave. Hmm? Well, at least he got away safe, right? Oh. Hey, now Sora's gone too. This way, guys. It's a secret passage. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to go that way just yet. Oh. Rapunzel. Maybe I go back to the cave. Mm-hmm. How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. <laughs> I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, <laughs> what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Be stare from chameleon. I'm watching you, buddy. Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't. Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. 
Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. <laughs> Get rough with them. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it. The three guys in the funny outfits. They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on <gasps> one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Look at that! A tower! Alright guys, we're going to wrap things up there. And stay tuned for the next one when we continue on with Rapunzel's area. Till then guys, catch you later.